Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very easy, fast way to cleanse and wash your brushes. If you guys didn't already know, I upload every single week. Every single week. Look out for a video every single week. Hey, hey, hey. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button to be notified every Thursday and Sunday that I upload. Let's get started. I hope the lighting is okay. This camera is fluctuating right now. I'm a damn mess. Okay, today I'm just a damn mess. My eyelids are stained red. I have concealer on, so that's how you know it's bad. My hair is a mess, my eyelids are a mess. Like, I'm just a mess today, and I thought, let's get a little bit messy by cleaning brushes. A lot of people have asked me how I like to clean my brushes, especially for those of you who have clients who work with multiple people, you need to cleanse your brushes, but you have to have them dry fast too. This is my absolute favorite brush cleanser. Dun, da, da, da. It's Berman Industries Brush Cleanser. It's called the NBS Brush Cleanser. It's fast drying, sanitizing, um, extremely flammable. Oh God. Keep away from heat, sparks, open flame, and other sources of ignition. All right, good to know. It's purple, okay, and I'm almost done with it. This is my absolute favorite and it smells so good. So this is what I do, okay? I'm gonna take you guys with me step to step what i do whenever i cleanse my brushes i got a nice little purple solution right here i have my makeup cup which is this cup right here that i put solution into and this is where the magic goes down basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the solution you're gonna put very little like i would say like like very little I don't know if you guys can see that, but like that much, okay? I get a lot of compliments too whenever I do people's makeup. They're like, oh my God, it smells so good. I'm like, bitch, just cause you're sanitized. So I'm gonna get all my brushes. I'm a disaster right now, you guys. I have so many brushes to clean. A bitch is just running around today. So I got my main brushes right here. You're gonna need this solution, a cup and paper towel. The first thing to do, it's very important to start off light. Don't go in with like your black liner brush. It's important to plan what colors you go in first. So start off with like your lightest shade. So I literally just swirl my brush around. The reason why I put so little is because I don't want to get this plastic part or like the wood part into the solution because that's gonna basically ruin your brush. So I like to start off by dipping it in swirling it around and then i just go like this around the rim of the cup to get like the solution off and then i literally just start twirling it around like so and you will know your brush is cleansed when there is basically no more shadow coming off on your paper towel and also you will see how clean your brush is do you see that it's so perfect for fast times like right now because i need to do my makeup and this is going to dry super fast so another thing is don't leave your brushes up top when you're drying them put them down because you don't want that solution that is in your brush bristles to go down to the brush ruin the brush you just you know you got to be careful so you're going to set it down and leave it just like this until you're basically done so i just go in for flat brushes like this i'm not going to swirl it around but i'm just more like just pressing down on it but you'll see like the i don't know if you guys could see it because it's so little but the solution is going to start to change color now you guys are probably asking like wait don't you have to like change the solution when you go into different colors no but if you want to like if you see that it's like tinting your brush or it's just too dark and you just want to change it sure go ahead but if you're using like a brush with brown on it you don't have to change it to go to a different brown you know what i'm saying that's why it's good to start light so white isn't gonna tint your brush you know if you go into something like this it might tint your brush but that's why you keep those brushes for later and then you just go like this clean it off and you're literally good to go it's so easy can you see this like all of this makeup coming off of the brushes so easy a lot of people hate cleaning their brushes but i love it i don't know why it's like therapeutic for me it's one of my favorite parts of the day actually when i'm done with my makeup and i come home take my makeup off i clean my brushes right then and there see how clean it's like nothing ever happened and you can use all your brushes in this one cup super easy just dip it in take it off from the side of the cup and then use your paper towel to clean and then when you're done i just literally dip this paper towel into my cup 
soak up everything that's in here and then throw it away and flip this cup upside down on top of my solution thing. I'll show you guys at the end. But I just find this the easiest and the fastest way to clean your brushes. Swirly, swirly, swirl it around. I'm gonna show you guys this paper towel after I'm done using it. A lot of you might ask, where can I find this solution? I get mine from Namie's if you're located in the LA area. I get it from there. I'm sure you can order it online, but I'm not completely 100% sure if they offer it online, but try to look it up. NBS Brush Cleaner, and it's by Berman Industries. So just look that up. And then if you feel like the color is not coming off, just dip it into the solution one more time. Drain or strain and go back in. Now, I should have washed my brushes last night when I got home because I don't want my bristles to be stained. So the longer that product, which is red, stays on your brushes, it's probably gonna stain them. So you just have to put that into consideration. You guys wanna know the funny thing? I've had this cup ever since I was like a little kid. It's from like Ikea, I think, but I would use this to like drink out of because it's a cup <laughs> but now i use it as a brush cleaner cup because i don't care for it so find a cup that you don't use often or you want to throw out and just put it into use as a brush cleaner cup i'm gonna show you guys how much product i have left in my cup at the end and basically how i get rid of this paper towel and everything i have like a specific process and steps to take whenever I clean my brushes. Cause I'm just like OCD like that. I like things a specific way. You could flip your paper towel or put it inside out if you run out of space. Just utilize your paper towels and your paper products properly. Paper picker, pack a pack a pack a pack of peppers. What is that called? A, I forgot what it's called. Oh, and another thing, if you're gonna be washing face brushes, you're gonna have to put in more solution because it's gonna soak up all of that solution. So I want to make today's video super easy since it's coming out on a Sunday. Maybe it could be like something that you guys are interested in doing. So I hope this was super helpful. And that's it, you guys. Literally like what, 10 minutes and all these brushes are good to go. So this is how my paper towel looks now. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of my cup. So this is basically all I have left, okay? So I get my paper towel. I literally scrunch it up into this cup. I go like this, twist, twist, let it soak up. And that's it. Throw it away. I put it over this cleanser bottle and I'm done. And that's it for today's easy how to clean your brushes video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.